Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore the War Dead Catacombs. Oh, there's a fight over there. No rushing in ahead, yeah. What's happening? Try left and then down. Okay, that special worked really well. Broke their poise right away. Stairs down on either side. Are you just infinitely respawning? Oh, oh my god! Just one hit? Alright. Hmm. Why are they poking at the ground? Well, one of the messages said left and then down, so let's try this. Oh, that did not do much damage. Oh, this is Scarlet Rot. Oh, no. Uh... Ooh, that hurts quite a bit more than poison. Well, this place is horrible. Wait. Ah, no. Oh, that might kill me. Fuck. Let's take immunizing cured meat. That'll protect me against Scarlet Rot. Oh no. Good thing I got my souls. Oh, treasure chest. Collapsing stars. Uh. That 
that might be all that's down there. I don't know. Unless there's a hidden wall. Let's just leave them to it. But I need to remember there is a bow person up there somewhere. There's one all the way back there. So noisy. Seek hiding place and then behold, fat coin purse. <laughs> Got it. It's gonna take them like an hour to kill each other though. thousand souls oh no <gasps> oh oh hey oh they didn't see me good ah no yeah do you just come back oh they do Oh, whoa, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I want that item really fast. Yoink. Magic grease. Duh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. The damage that everything in here does is amazing. Oh wow, that normal bolt almost killed me. Oh my god, my 40,000 souls, no. This place is horrible. Uh. Look at how much freaking health they have. Almost 3,000 souls just for that one enemy. That's appropriate, because god, they are ridiculous. Someone got to the top of the head? How? Okay, you don't have a million hit points. Oh, 
Those actually give me a thousand. I'd rather have ten of those than one of the arrow people. Making sure there's no one in here that's going to wake up and stab me in the back. Still no lever. Not here. So I just go down to where the little imps are? Yeah. Uh. No, that's a normal one, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is. Be wary of a right. Thank you. Try here. Oh yeah, now I can get to that higher point in the imp room that I couldn't get to before. Okay, but what about... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Ah. Uh, oh, this is bad. I'm out of here. Nope, I'm out. Don't follow me. Okay, we're fine. This doesn't seem like a very good weapon for this, so I'm going to go to the Moon Veil. Maybe it'll be better against him. Oh my god! No. No. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm gonna get shot in the back. I'm gonna get shot in the back. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Make sure these don't come to life at a very inopportune time.
This dungeon is evil. God, it's so nasty. Try target lock. Yeah. Um. I know from experience that is going to take like all the rest of my mana. But you know what? Screw it. What's best here? Will Glenstone Shard even hit? Ah. How about Loretta's Great Bow? Can I move after I charge this up? No, I, I can't move, so that is definitely a no-go. That'll do it. Beware of monster, yep. Ah, there's a lever. Let there be down. No, I'm not going down. What does this even do? I guess there's probably a boss if you go straight. I haven't gone straight yet. Don't give up. <laughs> Hiding in the corner. <laughs> oh, glad other people are having a similar experience. Whoa. Oh, yes, perfect. Give me your loot, give me your loot. Radon Soldier Ashes. I'm just not going to fight that thing. God, I kind of want to, but also I don't... Ah. No. Not doing it. I don't even want to think what the boss is going to be like. Just how horrible it's going to be. <gasps> I did it! First off, listen carefully, and then seek Rump. Nonsense message. But I'm going to upvote it because you put it on top of a candle. This boss is going to be horrible. <laughs> Friend required ahead, yeah. Be wary of snake. Seek friendship and then victory ahead. Two saying that you should summon. Ah, you again. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's not good. Oh. I've made the wise decision, I think, to leave the dungeon behind for now. Gonna come back to it, of course, but 
When almost everything one-shots you, it's just too high level. I can't use my flasks of crimson tears. They're pointless. Because I die in one shot, there's nothing to heal. You're either alive or dead. Never hurt, really. Yeah, I, I gotta save it for later. Let me see if I can find anything else in these red wastes. Didn't find anything else. Where are we now? Oh, we're on the other side of the bridge. Ah, oh, yeah, so I could have just gone across the bridge and there would have been a side of grace there. <laughs> oh well. And that'll just take me back to Radon, right? Oh no, that takes me inside of Redmain Castle. Right, I wanted to try this teleporter. So is anything different in the castle now? Our door is open? Hello? At last. The war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot and crippled by madness, all he wanted was an honorable death. Finally, my work is done. I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. I hope I do see you again. It's time I went on. May we meet again. If the... Yeah, nothing has changed inside the castle, as far as doors being open and all that. Okay, starting from the impassable Great Bridge, let's go get the map fragment. Hey, doggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a whole war and I'm in the middle of it. I, I don't want any part of this. Oh, look, they got those red eyes. Oh. Powerful. Does that mean all these dogs are just baby dogs? Ooh. Golden seed. But yeah, the smaller dogs must be baby dogs. Oh, and there's a merchant over here. Am I still being chased? Usually there's a side of grace near to merchants. Uh. Headband. Hmm. Champion pauldron. Bracers. Gators. Gravity's advantage. A note about it. And a cookbook. Well. Let's pop some souls. We have one level 10 one. Now nah, let's save that. Unfinished yet. Cookbook, stone sword key, note. Guess I'll get the cracked pots as well, why not? I think I want the champion set. Well. Let's see how that looks.
Well, that's kind of just rags. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wild. This is like gladiator stuff. Shows off a lot of skin, though. I like that. How are the stats? It is lighter and worse at literally everything. Yeah, that's not very good. But let's see what the full set looks like. This looks brutal. All right. Now we can finally see this place. Hmm. Something up there. It's kind of hard to read this map. It's so infested. Even the map itself looks just kind of burnt and stained or something. Oh yeah, one nice thing we got from the dungeon, even though I didn't finish it, is a new spell. Collapsing stars, and apparently I can't cast it from horseback. Damn, that's cool. I think it pulls them in. Can I charge it? Yeah, I can. Let's try it on you, friend. Hmm. Doesn't have the greatest range. So it pulls them closer whoa, and does damage. I don't really want them closer, to be honest. The damage is not great. No, actually, the damage is kind of terrible. It does way less than a great glenstone shard. But it does pull them towards me. Which... I'm still not sure how I would utilize that, to be honest. I don't know. I guess if an enemy really tries to pull away from me, to stay away from me, maybe that'd be useful. I see something here. A structure. That might be a church. It's a pretty high level spell, too. I think it requires 36 int or something like that. Squish, squish. Cathedral of Dragon Communion. What am I hearing? Oh, there's a knight outside. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. Ooh. Just want to verify on that spell. Pulls foe toward caster with gravity projectile volley. Yeah. 36 int. Can't use any of these things, unfortunately. They all take arcane. That looks so cool, though. How'd oh, be fun to do an arcane build. I think that'd be really interesting. Let there be night. Does something change at night here? Yeah, nothing seems to have changed. Look at those skulls. 
I didn't realize those were skulls. Or skull-shaped, at least. Those growths. It's made out of those growths. What the hell? Anyway, there's so many interesting things that I can't really see on the map too well, but I can definitely see them just with my eyes. Ow. I should probably take care of the bird before I go for the night. They have what appears to be the same flail that I'm already using. So I wonder what they're going to drop. Ah! Have a snack. Ash of War, Poison Moth Flight. Hmm. I want to see if I can go into the mouth or the eyes of those skull things. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a death bird. Oh no. I I don't think I should be fighting it. I don't have any flasks at all. Ah, side of grace. Okay, perfect. Southern Aeonia Swamp Bank. I need to charge up my rune. All right, let's try to take it on.
death right bird. Oh no. Oh wow, that was close. Here, have a raisin. Ha! Ah. Ah, oh, it's such a cool enemy. 15,000... Death's poker. <laughs> Poker. <laughs> what a name. But yeah, 15,000 runes. It's a great sword? Standard slash pierce. Ghost flame ignition is the special. Woo. Takes um, a little bit of int. Good amount of dex and 15 strength, which I'm actually only one away from. And it causes frost. Barbed rod carried by death birds. The birds are graveyard fire keepers. It's said they rake out the ashen remains of the dead from their kilns. That's what it's for. It's for raking out the ashen remains from their kilns. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> Unique skill. Thrust out the barbed rod and set its tip alight with ghost flame. Follow up with a normal attack to set the ground ablaze with ghost flame or a strong attack to trigger a massive explosion. That sounds incredibly cool. That sounds so freaking cool. And it's a great sword, but I could wield it, wield it with just... Well, I could two-hand it. Or just get one more strength. Let's see this thing. And a special. That's just doing the special without doing any follow-up, so let's do that plus the quick attack. Yeah, shoots the death flame out, and then let's do the strong attack. This is such a cool weapon. Night required ahead. Oh, good thing it was nighttime. Um, yeah, let's go back to the Moon Veil. I'd love to have both equipped, but I still just can't take the weight without going into heavy load territory. Ooh, I can go into the Nostril! Hey! Squishy! You really can't tell that it's a skull from this close. I love that. That you might not recognize what it is, but then you see it from afar and you're like, oh! That's an eye socket. Those are teeth. Whoa. Someone just cast magic on me? Who? Oh. Oh my god. 
world's biggest magical pots. Um, let me see if I can get up there by going around. Climb the skull. No. I can throw multiple pots at the same time because of all its hands. Down, dude. Stop by the shack. Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, I love it. Oh. Does it it has a collar? Gallery's shack. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept... I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Sure. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. The rotting sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the Erd Tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh godhood. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, you are to find a certain needle. Seek the deep, scarlet swamp of Aeonia outside Celia's bounds. The needle, made from unalloyed gold, is lost somewhere there. First, you must find the unalloyed gold needle. It's hidden somewhere in the den. I will tell you the secret of the town. Hmm. Wicked sort ahead. Hmm. First, you must hidden... Yeah, I'm a little bit suspicious about them. Could this be a decoy? Try attacking. Didn't expect betrayal. Ooh. Well, not gonna worry about it for now. I haven't found this swamp yet. Be wary of dog. <laughs> well, this is Celia Gateway, so I guess maybe this is the town of Celia. Let's go closer, see if it is. It's probably a side of grace. Just over here, I would imagine. Mm. 
Cilia, Town of Sorcery. That's a big ball. Am I? Oh, I'm out. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm not out. I just messed up my... Ugh. Oh, the swamp they're talking about is the one that's... It's just this swamp right here. Okay, I thought they were talking about something on the other side of the world, but... It's just right there. This place is difficult to navigate. Because of the fog and just how amorphous the land is. Ah! Well, I should probably do the swamp before doing the town. Because I think I want to know the secret before doing the town. Side of grace. Celia Understair. Let's get more endurance, because I really want to be able to hold more weapons. In fact, that alone might be enough. Can I? Yes! I can put this on so now I can have both. Both the Moon Veil and the Night Rider Flail without being heavy load. Looking at what we can make from the Remembrance of the Star Scourge. There's the Great Sword. It's a colossal sword. It takes 38 strength. That's not happening anytime soon. And then Lion Great Bow, 22 strength. Also not happening. Yeah, I'm definitely not using those, so I guess I might as well just pop the soul, right? I was also taking a look at what I can make from Renala. So I remember a while ago dismissing how much int I needed and thinking, ah, oh, I'm never going to get there. And then I thought, well, my intelligence is pretty high now, maybe. But no. The lowest item takes 60 int and the next one takes 70. Let's pop the remembrance. I think that's only going to be enough for one level. Yeah, just one level. Let's get more health, since I've been one-shot by some, some things recently. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to head to the Swamp of Aeonia, which I just realized is kind of shaped like a butterfly, isn't it? And see if we can find that gold needle.